Hey folks, today we're going to be checking out our blacked out 85 by 24 mobile marketing stage trailer. So what we have here is an all aluminum tubular frame. You've got a two inch by eight inch tube perimeter frame that goes all the way around the entire trailer with 16 inch on center cross members tubular in the floor, roof and walls. And that just gives structural integrity to the entire trailer. Now, as you can see here on the outside, we did an all black package. We've got our 0.040 skin thickness here with all blacked out trim on the outside. So upper, lower, rock guard, even the tongue, jack and coupler that you see here. Now really quick, we've got our two and five sixteenths inch coupler, our jack, safety chains, electronic breakaway kit, and seven way plug up here in the front. And as I mentioned, it's aluminum. So we save a ton of weight here if we were to compare it to a steel frame trailer. Steel frame trailer is gonna weigh roughly 25% of what this aluminum trailer weighs at roughly 6,000 pounds. So really quick, let's talk about the size of the trailer here. We've got an eight and a half by 20 foot box plus the four foot of Venos. So as we move back here towards the rear of the trailer, you'll see that we've got our awning arms here and then a massive 16 foot stage door with four stage legs and then three points to hold it back to the main trailer. As we move back here, you'll see we've got a three inch lower and a three inch upper trim into our individual fenderettes here around each 5,200 pound axle. And that's Dexter torsion axles with easy loop hubs on radial tires and aluminum wheels. So as I mentioned, we've got these matte black aluminum wheels. As we move back here towards the rear, you'll notice that we've got stabilizer jacks in two in the rear and two in the front with bogey wheels as well near the back of the trailer. Up on top, you'll see that we've got an LED high output scene light, seven inch wide by three inch tall, just to project light here towards the rear of the trailer. As we continue around here towards the back side of the trailer, you'll notice that we've got our standard ramp door, but we've outfitted it to act as a second part of the stage. You've got stage legs and the jacks that will connect to that to level it out. So you'll notice here above the rear ramp door that we've got a 12 volt custom awning. Now the key thing here is 12 volt. Everything on the trailer including the lights and the awnings um, are powered by 12 volts. So we can run strictly off of the battery without being plugged into any shore power or even a generator. So as you can see, we've put on one of our stage legs here. It's simply held in place by a pin. You've got three stage legs that go on this rear door and then four that go up on that side stage. As we move down here to this side, you see that we've got a vice lock. Now this gives you the added security of the bar lock, but also keyed so you can unlock and lock controlling access to your trailer. You also see we've got our LED tail lights and reverse lights as well. So as you can see, we've got all of our stage legs on and they're all adjustable by this three quarter inch socket. Now let's take a look at how this thing sets up. Total setup time with two people is less than five minutes. So what we've got here is a custom five foot tall railing. Now the purpose for this is twofold. One, it provides a great spot to put banners, top and bottom, to completely cover all of your product inside and to create a certain buzz and atmosphere around your entire trailer. It's great for advertising and uh, blocking out and creating a certain ambiance for your trailer. So this is half height, as I said. You fold down this top section and then you can create just a half banner if you needed to. So as I mentioned, we've got a remote control awning here on this back door. So let's go ahead and take that out. And as we walk here towards the rear of the trailer, we've also got a toggle switch for this awning along the stage door. So as you can see, we've created a nice shade point for both your rear ramp stage and also your side stage so that you're keeping the sun off of people's heads. So on this custom ramp here, you'll see that we did a non-skid flooring, very similar to what you would put in a truck bed as a liner. Also on the stages, we also did the black coin rubber TPO flooring, which is a non-skid as well. 
as we move here towards this stage, we did gap covers over each of these hinges as well as um, where that wheel well would be. So as we move inside of the trailer here, you'll notice that we did our silver frost interior wall and ceiling and matching cove. Down here, you'll notice that we have our four receptacles with a line of recessed airline track here in the wall. Right here is something very unique to few of our trailers. We've got a dedicated receptacle and coaxial output from the satellite ready dish up on the top. So looking above me, we've got 10 recessed 18 inch 12 volt LED lights in two rows of five. Now, as you look here on the ceiling as well, we've got three 12 volt fantastic fans that allow you to control airflow from the top of the roof. Now here's a better look at this cabinetry here in the front housing your electrical panel and also that control box for that rear strap assisted back door and all of our 12 volt fuses. So here in the floor, you'll notice that we've got a recessed compartment, which is where we store our 12 volt AGM battery. Behind that, you'll notice we've got our 55 amp converter and then our 50 amp motor base cable. Now up to the left, you'll see that we've got our fantastic fan controls as well as all of our lighting control and that side awning control for the trailer. All right, so here on the road side of the trailer, you'll notice that we've got our 36 inch door that opens up with a piano hinge and has a gas shock to keep it from hitting this ladder here on the side. Underneath the door, we've got our pull out slide out step that's also in matte black. Here we've also got our ladder leading to our walk on roof. And then just above the door, we've got another one of those high output LED scene lights. So this trailer is equipped with a walk on roof. So at your events, you could literally set up your DJ here on top with speakers or whatever you wanted. Me personally, I'd be the first in line to get inside of your trailer.